Hey guys, we're back with some more Quantum Break here on the channel. Hope you guys are enjoying this playthrough so far. And I believe we should be making our way. We just pulled up to the gala, to the actual party itself, more or less. We just gotta sneak in. After we were kind of on the outskirts of the uh, of the property. But now we're arriving at the Monarch Gala, and let's see what happens now. Uh, Remedy just announced a new game, too, at E3 called Control that looks really, really good. Uh, looks very interesting. Kind of reminds me of this game from the looks of it, but um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it when it comes out. I love Remedy games. Especially, obviously, Alan Wake and this game. And Control looks really, really good. Um, it's kind of disappointing that they didn't uh, announce a sequel to this or Alan Wake, but uh, we'll see what the new franchise brings with Control. If you haven't seen it yet, go check out the uh, the trailer for it. It's called Control, and it's it looks really awesome. As we're still loading here. I just read on the Quantum Break Insights there that Monarch has a building in Riverport, Massachusetts. Does it really take place in Massachusetts? It's interesting. Maybe like New York or something. Well, we'll get there eventually. Yeah. So here, Victor Amaral. Beth should be here somewhere. Need to get to her before the stutter ends. So we're in the middle of a stutter here. Oh, there's something over here. This won't take long. Make sure, Make sure everything goes smoothly at this end. end. You know how important this party is to us. Hope I'm not Hope overstepping, overstepping my bounds here, sir, but I don't, I don't like it. Like it. Please, Please take a take couple of our guys, guys with you. With you. Locked, Locked up or not, not. Joyce, Joyce is dangerous. dangerous. Yes, I am. Mr. Serene's speech had been a success. I can handle the world was falling apart, but the wine and cheese crowd was enjoying their little goddamn soiree. Tennis court here. Should be a uh, going on source right there. There we go. Yeah, anybody up for a game of tennis here? We've arrived at the party. Everyone's already getting the bubbly out. This girl. This lady, she sees something in the background. It's over here. If you own a cocktail sword, get Charlie drunk enough to access the lab. <laughs> And then there's a Cronon source. Alright. Hey, we could be the bartender. Oh, look at all this champagne here. Some beers as well. No Heineken. That's a little disappointing. Oh, look at this lady in the red dress. Oh, it's Beth. Style. 
These people have no idea I'd be shooting up half a Paul's little amusement park. Yeah, well, Monarch does. I don't think my cover's gonna last. Yeah, well, I don't think it would do much good for the next part anyway. Okay, Dr. Amaral, somewhere inside the mansion. Let's go grab her. Better block. Look at all these people though. Frozen in time. What's our plan once we grab her? There's a boat dock right outside the mansion. Okay, we can make that work. Hey sweet pea, uh yeah we did just start. It's like two, three minutes ago. Interesting note about I was just talking about that game control and guys and Beth here is actually the main character and actor for that game. So they're using her as like the main likely they're gonna take her likeliness and use her as the main character and actress. I think that's pretty cool. This is a neat painting. I like that. It's neat. A lot of neat paintings here. Can't beat the view, can you? Goodness me. Got the whole city skyline there. Looks like we got another Cronon source around. I like this painting too. And this one looks like an airplane, that one. It's in the wrong place at the wrong time, literally. Uh, yeah, I might stream something after this. I'm not sure yet. Jack, Dr. Amaral's yeah. in there. We need to get her out before time gets back. Going here. Stutters making noises. Jack, get her moving before time kicks back in and that drone turns us into paste. There's Dr. Amaral. Let's get to it. Yeah, I'm glad I remembered the mic too this time as well. We got a battle on our hands here. We got a sniper up there. Oh goodness, this sniper's gonna get kill us. I'm gonna do the time rush here. Take him out, grab his gun. Oh, there's like explosives right there. That's like this sniper at all. Is he not dead? Who else is shooting at us? Good guy. Oh, there's explosive stuff everywhere. We go around this way. What's shooting at us now? Oh, there's a guy up there. There's guys everywhere. Light him up. 
Nice. Good time rush. Oh. Yeah, turret. Time rush. Man, there's turrets everywhere. So we're getting here. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. Calm down there. Who else is out there? There's a guy coming. Oh, he's a heavy duty guy. Still alive? Are you kidding me with this? Use our shield here. I believe this punk is still alive. There he goes. Oh. Surprise! Man, there's a turret over there too. Get back in here. So many turrets around. He's down. He's down. Open that gate. Shoot. Is that the uh oh, we're back here. That gate is so close. I think we can do it in here. Still yeah. working on it. Hang tight. There we go. You're clear. Go. I can swing by and no. Just go. We went to all this trouble to grab her. Beth, I'm counting on you to keep her alive. Make my own way out. My plan was simple. There's a bridge to the mainland. Fight my way through anything Monarch would throw at me and then steal a car. Drive it back to the swimming pool. Just remember, we need your ass alive. Holy crap. We'll see how it shakes out. Look at all this we're dealing with. Let's uh, shoot the explosive. Have some of that. down. Oh, we have to do a time rush here. Let's go. Go this way. Use this wall's cover. Um, we should go up here. Down this way. Going again. Take out the sniper. There we go. Bring up the shield. A little bit of rust fight. And now we can go fight. Oh, there's a sniper over there too. You gotta be kidding me. How are we supposed to oh, man these snipers? Fight our way to them. Stay down. Give him some of that. Big guy. Under siege here. Die. He's not dying. Freeze him. Back below cover. He's down. Alright guys, now we gotta go that way. There's another big guy. Do a time rush here. Get by all these. To get to the sniper. There we go. Let's just get this gun. Come 
Come on up over here. <laughs> Creating fireworks of our own. There's a big guy still out here. Got him. With Beth and Dr. Amor all clear, it's time for me to get gone. For that, another gun. Now, where are we going? This way. Okay, time to get a ride out of here. That was a cool fight. I remember that being one of my favorites when I first played this Valley game. Parking. Beloved by Carthys ever. <laughs> He's like, I get a nice car to drive. A Lamborghini or something. End of Act 3, as you can hear Paramore playing. This might get blocked out, you know. This is, I have no rights to the music, guys. Alright, let's go through there. And I think there's going to be another episode of the show coming up, so let's enjoy that. I believe there should be another episode of the show. We have a junction first, that's right. This thing growing inside me. I've been fighting it for six hard years. Dr. Amaral was developing a cure for the Cronon Syndrome. She was the only one who could administer the treatments that kept my sickness at bay. Paul? And Jack had taken her away from me. Martin, how is it possible he managed to take her? Paul, is your illness talking? I'm on your side. Easy, you They took her. Without Sophia, there's no chance of a cure. We did all we could, but there are forces within Monarch working against you, and I believe Burke was just the tip of the iceberg. It wasn't just Joyce that did this. Uh, sir? Uh, we've recovered Dr. Amaral's laptop. We have it set up over there if you want to take a look. I'll be right there. Alright, here we go. It'll be Paul Serene again. I want to go over Sophia's figures. If she's right, the fracture is escalating a lot faster than we anticipated. You know the future. Dr. Ramu doesn't. Is the lifeboat even in a viable state for activation? She's trying to convince you the schedule's wrong. Why? To get you to rush this? To make a mistake? The people opposing you. She could be one of them. She isn't. Are you willing to bet the entire plan on that? I implore you, hold off on activation, Paul. Let me clean house before this gets completely out of hand. How do you want to proceed? Somebody Find out. working against me. Somebody close. Martin Hatch. Sophia Amaral. I could only trust one of them. Who do we trust here? All right, Amaral. Let's go fix the time machine. I said I'll try. Evidence was mounting against Sophia. I couldn't simply ignore it, despite everything we had been through. Make it, and she took them away. If she turned against me with what she knew, the damage could be immeasurable. I want him to Immediately. Sorry, I 
have some information about Martin Hatch. Martin had been my closest advisor for years. I began to wonder if that had been a mistake. Sophia's loyal. She's always been loyal. I don't think we can trust her. The way she looked at the countermeasure like she's seen it before. She knows what it does. Sophia's research had saved my life. Loyalty doesn't run any deeper. Hmm. Suspect is a traitor. But let's have him trust Hatch. I want to try and keep him alive, so... You're right. Let's do that. We need to stick to the original plan. Sophia's date is good or not, deviate from... Clearly, we have been compromised. Put a team together. Find out who she's been working with. Actually, I've already got something on that front. They just pulled this from the security feed. My God, it's her. Who? Her, Martin. She's one of our employees. How the hell? We got too big for you to screen everybody personally. We didn't have an idea on her until now. Beth Wilder. She's one of our operatives. We've already got a kill team after, but we won't be able to kill her. Not yet. How can she be working with Jack? How does she even know him? I told you, Paul, we can't trust our own people. Who knows how deep this goes? Find out. Uh oh, Beth. Beth Wilder. It was the first time I'd heard her name. But she had been there in the past. When it all started. She had been here the whole time. Working against me from the inside. And she wasn't the only one. Hmm. There we go. 38% of the community agreed with our choice to trust Martin Hatch there. Let's go. Here's the next episode, guys. Hope you enjoy it. The treatments, they're losing their effectiveness. <sighs> Sophia, you shouldn't worry so much. Back up slowly. I need to get in that lab. There's something in there that I need. The lifeboat protocol. Paul's a very dangerous man, and things will only get worse if he continues unchecked. What is it that you're so threatened by, Martin? Do I look threatened to you? This is Dr. Amaral's report. The stutters, they're, they're increasing in frequency. What is that? A chronon disrupted life form. Extremely hostile. It's Dr. Kim. Let's go! Let's go!
what did Burke want with it? Well, I don't know. I don't even know what the lifeboat protocol is. It's a sanctuary designed to shelter a list of Monarch's essential personnel to weather the storm until they can develop a solution. Essential personnel? So that means that I'd be on that list, right? Not under Paul Serene's lead, you wouldn't. He's failed to see the value in his own people, too consumed with grand ideals and delusions. You know what I find to be the most terrifying notion on this planet? The idea of God. Simply the idea. A being with that much power. The ability to take and give so freely. That kind of control. But should be feared, not worshipped. Yet, people believe in it just as people believe in Paul Serene. See, what's scary about God isn't his cantata. If he ever lost it, Paul Serene's become unhinged, Charlie. He's triggered a catastrophe. He has the chance to fix it, but he's choosing not to. He's choosing to let things end. In the end of time. And this is where we come in. We risk too much leaving the keys to the kingdom in one man's hands. We need insurance. There's something called the CFR. It's a crucial key to our survival and must remain safe. But as long as Paul is the only one with access to it, it isn't. With access to the CFR, I would take over, get Monarch back on track, and once I do, Restructuring would be in order, Charlie. Restructuring that would see you as my right hand. I'd be on the list. Absolutely. Then I need to go back to Monarch. And that sort of privilege isolation it can only be done from the inside. Put the island on lockdown, but the pump house on the west side has an old supply tunnel that runs beneath the bay. No one knows about it. You'll go unseen. Time is of the essence, Charlie. You better get to it. Yeah. Commander Davis. Yes, sir. Head to the perimeter lab. We're moving forward. The frequency of the stutters is still unpredictable, but they're persistent. Erratic, but persistent. I need certainty. I initiate no going back. Mr. Serene, something like this. There is no certainty. We've never dealt with it before. How long? We've been running Dr. Amaral's simulations. It's hard to say without her to confirm, but... Just give me a time. Joyceville could collapse within eight hours. Mr. Serene, if you're going to proceed, now would be the time to decide. Charlie. Fiona. Hey, bud. Where are you going? You're right. Time's ending. 
just like you said. And the lifeboat protocol, it's a place. They built it to protect people from the fracture. And the only problem is, is, is there's a list and anyone who's not on it is, is pretty much fucked. But if we make it back to the mainland, I, I can get us on the list. All of this us. entire island is on lockdown. How are we gonna do that, Charlie? There's a tunnel. Hey, all right, if you are lying to me this time, I swear to God. Get off! I'm tired of shit. I don't know why you're doing this, but I don't have to put your name on shit, motherfucker. What'd you do to him? He's fine. I'm gonna tell you why you're gonna put me on that list. I got a pregnant wife at home, and she's the only thing that I am thinking about right now. So if you get in the way of me protecting her, I swear to fucking God, next time, you will not catch your breath. Lead the way. Five minutes out, Mr. Hatch. Yes. I've come to free you, my friend. It's... It's unsettling. Time for you to rejoin the others, to return to the infinite.
Did you okay? Yeah. Hey, yeah? I'm good. We need to get... Get on the fucking ground! Hey, ground! No, 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 we're with Monica! I understand! No, get on the ground! Hey, no, 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 I'm the one that called the matches guy. Wincott. Yeah. Where's she? She's... Cronon scientist. She's important. We have to get her back to Monarch right away. Please. Get the fuck out of here. Now! Gibson, I got Burr. Fiona! 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 Listen! Hey! Oh, shit! You killed... Hey, I didn't know that they were gonna. What was I supposed to do, huh? You let me on and then you kidnapped this isn't me. It's about you, Charlie. Are you stealing this car? Just get the fuck out of here. No, you're gonna need me. I got what I needed out of you. Yeah, I'm getting used to it. Why don't you open your eyes? The world is about to end. I'm trying to do something. Yeah, you're a real hero. Fuck you. Huh? You there, Burke? You fuck. You know, I'm really gonna enjoy killing your wife. Commander Davis? Davis and his team. They're all good men. Monarch's finest. Oh. Oh. What about my treatments? I'm afraid so. You know what this means. If you don't know for sure. I'm a danger! Jack. He wants me to become you. He wants me to suffer. Until the end. Joyce and Wilder. But what was troubling me is who got them in the lab. She paid a visit. While she was thought to be missing. She knew Quiggins. She knew complexities of your illness. And she knew you'd never make it without those treatments. She created them. And then she took them away. I need her fa now. And what? I'll decide that when she's brought to me.
Liam? Hey, pal. I'm glad you could make it. I was just telling your girl here how concerned about you we've been. We need to go. What's the rush? Let's go. Emily, give me the keys. Give me the keys. Get away from me. Get away. Emily, listen. No. Listen, please. Please, this is not a way out. I'm telling you, I never felt good doing this. I, I never, I never felt good doing this. But it's the only thing I knew how to do. And when I, I couldn't find anything, I couldn't find anything to do. And Monarch, they found that useful, and they put me to work. And I swear to God, I couldn't, I couldn't stand, I couldn't stand being alone. It's, so every Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I would, I would walk down the street because it was the only two nights at the bartender. She wasn't at school. And I told myself every night to ask you what. It took me a fucking year. And like, if Mom, I, if they gave me struck, you get me. I did this to protect you. I did this to protect You have to listen to me. Something terrible is coming. And I really want you on the way, but we have to move. We have to move right now. If you let me protect you. Yeah, it's Pierce. I'm at the perimeter lab. So I have some information about Morn Hatch. I want him apprehended immediately.
Alright guys, that's the end of the third episode within the game. Pretty good stuff. Uh, sorry about the uh, buffering and lagging. Buffering and stuff, there's not much I can do about it. It's just internet speed and Twitch itself. So, but... Um, yeah, that was actually a really good episode. I was sitting down watching that too. Because obviously I haven't played this game since... Until like, when it first came out. Until, you know, now playing it on the channel, so... Let's continue, actually. It's going to be a little bit of a long part here on YouTube, but I want to play at least a little more of the game right now. You took the one thing Mr. Serene needed to survive, Dr. Amla. That made you priority one. Yeah, they made that clear. Monarch lined every escape route with barricades, roadblocks. I had to get to the mainland, but I couldn't do it by car. Needed a new plan. All right, let's go. Beth, I think I'm gonna need a ride. The streets are too hot. All right, where do you want me? I'll let you know as soon as I find some higher ground and get a good look at the situation on the bridge. I think it might be a no-go. Sorry guys, just had to plug in my controller. The batteries were dying. Here we are now in the city. Gotta get to higher ground. Jack Joyce. Something up there. There is a Cronon source. Climb up here. I'm looking at the bridge right now. Well, maybe. Or I can pick you up. Let me know. I'm pretty exposed out here, so try to make it fast. I'll be a lot better when you get me on that boat. The monarch's right on my ass. I'm not exactly making friends out here. Was here we go. Still kicking and screaming. How long do you need to get here? That depends. Let me check. <laughs> Look at this view, guys. I mean, the graphics are so good right here. The bridge, monarch. Solutions there. You got a little lobster yeah, hut over there. The chopper spots me. Yeah. Actually, we'll and an upgrade. We have eight points available, so. Let's increase the uh, time stop. Oh, we still have four left. Time shields all the way. Time dodge, maybe? Focus time will last even longer. Uh, sure. Let's upgrade that for four. Alright. Here we go. Alright, let's continue here. Paul. What the actual fuck? <laughs> Still there? Yeah, just looking for a viewpoint. One of the best parts I love about the uh, Remedy games I've played, just the gameplay is so good, guys. Like, the controls are always really good. Gameplay is, I mean, yeah, they have great storytelling, great graphics, great voice acting, and everything. And But the uh, gameplay as well is just amazing, so... I'm really looking forward to Control. I just, we still, we just want another Alan Wake <laughs> more than anything, but it's more wishful thinking at this point, I know. There's an episode of Night Spring. Speaking of Alan Wake, this is a little Alan Wake Easter egg for you guys. So, we don't know where he is. We can't, uh, we can't find him. So we need to look into a, you know, a, uh, a replacement. <laughs> All pony 
brownies are made of butter in night springs. Ah! <laughs> there is all of ours, lots of the Kratzu things happening in Gidu of Nigat Springs. Thank you. All ponies are made of butter in night springs. We know the old dance, the for um, fortunate and the destitute. The haves and the haves have nots. Those who dine at the table and those who starve in the street. But the tables can be over. Uh, the, uh, but the tables can be turned. The gluttonous consumer may find himself the consumable resource. Do that again. And yet, that is the fate that awaits you in Night Fringe. It's Night Springs. Night Cringe. Springs. Bright Blings. Night Spring. Fright. Winge. Jesus. <laughs> we know the old dance. The fortunate and the destitute. The haves and the have-nots. Those who dine at the table and those who starve in the street, but the tables can be turned. The gluttonous consumer may find himself <laughs> the consumable resource. In Great the voice actors here. <laughs> Right of things. <laughs> this is a little Alan Wake Easter egg. Night Springs. Alright. Let's get going here. Uh oh. We still have no visual on Joyce or Wilder. Doing another sweep. Place here. Out there. If I go anywhere near that thing, there's gonna be a fire. crossfire. Uh, let me see. There's a pier under the bridge. You should be able to meet me there with the boat. A giant gas sign out front. Can't miss it. It's nice and bright for Monarch to see. There's not a lot of options. Switching to Monarch frequencies. Be in touch soon. I'll be there in a few minutes. Don't stand me up. Oh, don't worry. We'd never stand you up, Beth. We would never do such a thing. Okay, how are we getting down there? Where's the fire pole? I go down this way. Uh oh, monarch cops all over the place here. You bastards. Out the window. Nice and easy, Jack. Come on. Oh boy. They're getting out of their cars. Some asshole from Lucky Joe's won't let us search his truck. You heard Serene. We take the hard line. Easy on the trigger finger, but if it comes to it. Copy. Look at all the detail here, guys. Absolutely lovely. Even though this game came out a few years ago, look at it, it still looks, still looks beautiful. Up here, man! Monarch's got the 
Ah, oh, this guy does not help us at all. Push in there. That's how you do it there. He's shooting at us. Who is it? Anybody? It's you. Get behind here. <laughs> Action's kicking off again here. Oh, there's people all over the place. Gonna bring up the shield. We got it. Almost dead here. rush up here get this guy start moving up a bit bring up our shield that we need boss is out there have some of that battle here. And this guy's killing us. Dodge, dodge. There we go, we got him. Gonna grab another HQ, gun here. Some more ammo. Shit. HQ, the civvies heard gunfire. They're freaking out up here. Beth, change of plans. The pier's too hot. Gotta find another way across. I'm almost there. Just wait two minutes. I'm not putting Dr. Amaral at risk. I'll make it across that bridge. Whatever it takes. Alright, so we're gonna go across the bridge. But can we stop at Uncle Sue's lobster shack? Maybe they have some sizzling shrimp over there. Need to get into the bridge. We do like the sizzling Crosses. shrimp. Alright, there we go. Wait, is there. <laughs> Let's keep it going. There's a chronon source over here. Yeah. Well, what do we got here? Alright, here's the bridge, one of the most infamous scenes and in parts of the game here. Crazy here. Jesus. Wanted Charlie and Fiona. Grab this Cronon source. There we go. Right in the middle of the protest. Uh, I don't remember which way we gotta go here. Can't climb over that. Might actually have to go this way. Going the wrong way. Uh oh, not good. 
one of these guys. Oh, that's right, we don't have our powers. They have a disrupt, chronon disruptor going on. Here I am trying to use my power. I was wondering why I couldn't use the time rush. Let's try this again. What's going on here? Why it's taking so long to load? I skipped it. Oh, I can use my uh, power here. Go take out one of these other guys. Oh, they're frozen. Oh. There we go. Shoot. Gotta get around this guy. Lay into him. There we go. Okay. Dodge again. Okay, good. That's cool. Just gotta make it across. Is he dead? I think we did get him. Okay. Uh, Jack through here. Up the ladder, guys. Get even higher up, which is lovely. Not really. Now we're up with the birds. Yeah, a little too high for my liking. Another chronon source. There we go. Faster. Here we go, guys. Look at this part. Crazy, guys. All the detail. All the detail and the destruction here is lovely. Look at this. Hanging on. <laughs> oh no. This is so. <laughs> it is. Yeah, okay. I knew I'd be dead if the stutter collapsed while I was in the frozen crash. I had to reach solid ground in the deck of the cargo ship with my best bet. Just had to find a way down. Oh, we almost didn't make that. Jump. Very careful. Now what? That's what? The frozen crash was a mess. Somehow I had to find my way across. Hope oh my. <laughs> this part's crazy. Yeah. 
do that. Go up here. Where do we go here? Time rush past that. I kept heading downwards towards the cargo ship. <laughs> Let's keep going down, wasn't it? User, nope. Over here, a fracture was getting caught violent loops off sync, crashing. This was what gave the time was. Sure, we'll walk across this. Looks like in chaos. Frozen. Okay. And no one would know. Down the slide. were moving out of time, out of order, tire timelines overlapping. And it was going to get worse, unless we could stop it. There we go. So we're back here. How are you wielding? You need to hand over to Monarch. I've prepared for what happens next. You say you're happening. Even if she, what if, the end of time is coming. There's no way to- Hey! This isn't a debate. I just watched a ship fast forward through a fucking bridge. Time is running out, and the fracture's getting worse by the minute. And it cannot be stopped. Paul has been to the end of time. He's witnessed it firsthand. Can't you see? We prepared for what's next out of necessity. Your research is based on work by William Joyce. You respected him. He knew that the fracture would occur, but he also knew that it could be fixed. Will built a way to stop the fracture. This. The countermeasure. We're traveling to the past to retrieve it. You can help us get there faster. Or you can agree to disagree. I'll have to run diagnostics on the machine. I can't promise anything before that. Nick, take Amaral to the machine. Keep an eye on her. You got it. Welcome to the team, Doc. Don't make me shoot you. Jack, before we head downstairs, we have to talk about something. And we will eventually. <laughs> good guys, uh, been a pretty long episode, but it's been a good one. Just got through that whole bridge part, so um, we're back here at the swimming hall. So when we pick up next part, we'll go see what's what's going on. What Beth wants to talk about. Thank you for joining me yet again. Just see Dr. Amaral down there. And uh, until next time, everybody, zero is the number.